Now we're continuing on by discussing launch modes and you'll notice that again we made this active at the end of our last session by clicking on this launch selector button here and that section became enabled to see and edit. Now we have several launch modes which means what happens when we click on a launch button or what happens if we try to launch it through some other means like a keyboard note or etc. It'll all be the same but we'll be looking at this as though we're triggering with a mouse only for now. So we have the basic trigger mode that means once we click on something it's launched and it plays until something else is launched or something stops. Okay so the other modes gate, toggle, and repeat all serve different functions. Let's look at gate now. Gate only plays the clip as long as you hold down the mouse button. So down holding and up and down and up. Now you notice that sometimes when I release it takes a while to stop because our resolution here is still at a quarter note so it won't stop until the next quarter note or begin until the next quarter note. Let's listen again. Start up down up so sometimes it takes a while to start or stop according to your resolution here. Next we have the toggle mode, which means once you click it begins playback. If I click again, stops, no matter where we are. Clicking. Click. So each time I click it toggles on playback mode or toggles off playback mode. Another interesting one is the repeat mode. Now as long as I hold down the mouse or key, it'll keep playing that beginning over and over. Mouse still down and releasing. Now again that relates to this resolution. It can get more interesting if you come to smaller time relations. So let's put it at 16th note and listen. Down. Launching another clip, coming back. Okay, so you can see how that launch mode can be a lot of fun if you've got it in repeat mode and you've got it set to a smaller resolution. Listening. Okay, so that's our launch mode, repeat, toggle, gate, or trigger. When we talk about legato mode, we talk about how beats hand off to each other. So let's get this back to a quarter note now. And listen, so when I click on this, it starts. Now notice that that took over down here. In legato mode, wherever a beat is within its pattern, so if I'm at beat 4, then when it goes over to the next one, the next clip, it picks up at its beat 4 and continues from there. This way any phrasing that might be in the drums, like if we take beat 3 and listen, notice this pause here. That can be very helpful. Toggling over. So it keeps things in sync and particularly is useful if you've got smaller values over here like 16th notes. Allows you now to combine fractions of any of these clips very quickly. So now it's handing off from one clip to the next by the next 16th but keeping everything in sync because all four clips have their legato mode enabled. So we can see and hear that very quickly and how nice that is. Okay, so we're going to stop now this part of the launch modes and pick up on quantization, velocity, and follow actions in the next one.